And thanks for inviting us in on this Friday night. The only college team from the state of Indiana has been knocked out of March Madness. The Boilermakers were upset tonight by North Texas in overtime after mounting an exciting second half comeback. The game wrapped up just about an hour ago at Lucas Oil Stadium. Our Taylor Tannenbaum is there to give us a breakdown of what happened to the Boilers. Yeah, what a game over at Lucas Oil Stadium tonight. As you mentioned, Scott, home state advantage didn't seem to matter because the lone team representing Indiana in the bracket has been eliminated. 78 to 69, the final in overtime. North Texas, one of the oldest, most experienced teams in this tournament. Just too much for this young Purdue squad. The Boilers trailed nearly this entire game, got in a hole early. They were able to tie it up late to send it into overtime. But in that overtime period, they were ice cold, outscored 17 to 8 down the stretch. So Purdue heading back to West Lafayette much earlier than they anticipated. While the loss tonight definitely stings, Purdue fans have a lot to look forward to in the future. A lot of young talent on this roster. Freshman Jaden Ivey scoring a career high. 26 points tonight. He was outstanding. So I have no doubt Matt Painter and these Purdue Boilermakers will be back and better next year. Scott. All right, Taylor, thanks so much. This was certainly a crushing loss for Purdue, given that the Boilers were the favorite and the four seed in that game. But as our Lauren Costig tells us tonight, Boiler Nation had high hopes before tip off as fans headed inside Lucas Oil Stadium or watched the game from local bars. Last year, none of this was possible. Basketball was canceled and fans couldn't gather. But take a look at this. March Madness is alive and well. Purdue fans arriving at Lucas Oil Stadium, ready to cheer on the only home team in the tournament. Oh! Black and gold filled the streets of Indy Friday night. I'm pumped, can't wait. Dustin Lear has been a Purdue fan his whole life always wanting to attend a tournament game. I know we're in nosebleeds, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I mean, it's going to be a good night. Welcome to Lucas Oil Stadium. No line, no way, that way. And students also making the drive. We haven't been able to go to a game all year, so like the first chance we got an opportunity to go to one, like we're obviously going to go to it. And even the team's youngest fans came to cheer them on. We're here to watch the Purdue games. My mom's the head team doctor. And for fans without a ticket, they caught all the action at bars and restaurants downtown. We took a trip from Chicago. We all came down and we wanted to watch uh, Purdue. We can't get the tickets for it, but we're still down here having a good time. We're going to watch over here at Hooters. The district tap also set up a tent on Georgia Street, letting Purdue fans catch all the action. A little representation of the state, even though none of the, none of the others made it, but uh, uh, the best team made it, so that's all that matters. It's a fan frenzy that only March can bring. We're going to have thousands of basketball fans here in Indianapolis over the next several weeks for March Madness, and the Marion County Health Department wants to make sure everybody's following the pandemic rules. Like the mask mandate, they also urge people to wash their hands frequently and practice social distancing. You're going to see more Metro officers around downtown Indy on bicycles, motorcycles, and walking the beat as they work to keep March Madness fans safe. They're also using security cameras from local businesses to monitor situations. But police say fans will play the biggest role. During this uh, unprecedented time that we have in a pandemic, that there's still some things that could go on that they need to be aware of. So I think it's very important for them to actually be vigilant. Another move to keep people safe, blocking off Georgia Street, which has become a big destination for fans. And our Mary Mills continues our team coverage of March, Mad March Madness tonight by showing us another good spot for fans on Mass Ave. We're in the new Bottle Works district off Mass Ave, one of the places downtown that's drawing fans. They're calling it their basketball bash. Check this out. It's their 3D brackets. And if you come over here, you can see they've got two big TV screens. They've closed off the street here where fans have gathered to watch the games. They've also got some pop-up bars. And folks wanting something to eat can go inside and, and bring some food out. So they're really trying to create a fun fan atmosphere here. And this will continue through the weekend, tomorrow and Sunday from 12 until 9 p.m. That looks fun there, Mary. Thanks so much. And March Madness just getting started here in Indy. We've got two more weeks of games across Indiana. So be sure you follow our March Madness coverage both on air and on WTHR.com. 
Just click on the Indies Got Game tab. That's at the top of the website. And that wraps up tonight's big story.